Hello, good and wonderful people. You are welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, my people, it don't happen again. The Nigerian government has arrested Sunday Ibuho in Kotonu. According to Punch newspaper, he was arrested last night by the Nigerian federal government. I see trouble serious trouble i'm gonna be reading out the news for you guys but please if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read breaking yoruba nation agitator sunday Ibuho arrested in kotonu Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Ibuho, has been arrested in Kotonu, Benin Republic. The punch has learned. He was arrested at an airport in Kotonu on Monday night. A top source familiar with the matter told our correspondent. Ibuho was arrested by the security forces in Benin Republic about three weeks after the Department of the State Service declared him wanted for allegedly stockpiling arms, an allegation he has since denied. The source told the punch that Ibuho will be repatriated to Nigeria on Tuesday, today, from Benin Republic, one of the Nigerian's neighboring countries in the West African sub-region. He was arrested in Kotonu while he tried to travel out on Monday night. His destination was Germany. The security forces in Benin Republic should repatriate him to Nigeria on Tuesday, the source said. The Nigerian secret police had raided Ibuho's Ibadan residence in the Shoka area on July 1st, 2021, arrested about 12 of his aides and killed two of them. The federal government of Nigeria had placed the Nigeria Immigration Service and the Nigerian Customs Service on alert to stop Ibuho from leaving the country. When contacted, a member of Ibuho's legal team, Pelumi, said he would speak with the lead counsel, Yomi Alihu, son, and revert later. DSS spokesman Peter Afnaya did not respond to a text message seeking confirmation on the matter. Afnaya, at a briefing on July 1st, 2021, had vowed that Ibuho may run as far as he can, he may hide as long as he wants. But this will be the end of his shenanigans. All right, my people, and that is it for you. Or oh, I can just clearly see what is coming. We are still talking about Nam the Kano illegal adoption. Now they have arrested Sunday Ibuho. According though, uh, according to this particular news, now uh, he is still where they arrested him. He they will repatriate him today, which I don't know if. They've repatriated him already. There's no official statement, both from Ibuho's uh, legal counsel, nor from the DSS, because it's just early in the morning and the information is still sketchy. But definitely, however it is, I'll keep you guys updated. Now, let me quickly share my opinion with you guys. A lot of people are already reacting. Look at a lot of people. I'm going to take some comment for you guys, but let me quickly say this. You see these people. They are going around arresting innocent people, people who are only speaking out for their rights, people who are only agitating for what is naturally their fundamental human right. But we have bandits, we have Boko Haram, we have terrorists. This one, the unknown one, is not as if maybe if the federal, with all these things they are doing now, it clearly shows that, yes, if the federal government of Nigeria, they want to go after terrorism, they can do it effortlessly. They can do it without it will not even cost them anything. It will not cost them anything. But because the federal government of, of Nigeria, they are the ones sponsoring terrorism, because they are the one behind the insecurity in Nigeria, they decide to shut their eyes against it. And now, instead of them to go after bandits, instead of them to go after Fulanese that are killing people, now they are going after innocent uh, people. Someone here says, this government is a joker. I always laugh in their stupidity. You don't want to address the reasons 
for the agitations. You don't want to approach the situation democratically and you feel by applying forces like this, the moral of the people will die. Please wake up from sleep. Instead of all these killings to save Nigeria, it is better we kill Nigeria to save lives. Okay, can you now see? Almost everybody, people are literally tired with this government. They are tired and they are beginning to voice out. How many people can they arrest? How many people they go feel locked up for inside that their prison there? A lot of people are ready to die for this agitation because to them, to live is no gain. So what are they living for? What are they living for? Life in Nigeria is like living in here right now. So most people, they just even if they die today, they have nothing to lose. So many people are ready to give up their lives for this struggle. Someone here says, someone here says, how many bandits have the government arrested even though the hideout are known by the Minister of Banditry and Terrorism Affairs? Agitation will not stop except the Buhari-led administration governed with equity and fairness. You can't show love to some of your children and display hatred to the rest and expect peaceful coexistence in the house. And that is it. That is nothing but the truth. Someone here says, We love you whether they arrested you or not. Sunday Ibuho, it is our greatest hero. You speak our mind and you win our heart. Your name has been penned down in the history of Yoruba nation. Of Yoruba, may Allah protect you wherever you are and grant you victory because whether you did good or bad, history will never forget you. Ibuho, sir, we love you more. This thing here is the spirit. Now, spirit, now it be this. You cannot kill it. No matter how many people you try to arrest, the spirit is already there. If you arrest one person, thousands of people go, go arise. And now it be the thing where these people never understand. Truly, I don't know they give them that orientation that it is by arresting the people. It will not solve the problem, oh, because we have many angry youth in the village. <laughs> I never know. Someone here says, it is highly time for fully-blooded Yorubas that are clamoring for self-determination to rise up, raise their voices. This shouldn't be like Abiola's issue. Hashtag, I stand with Sunday Igbohu. And that is it for you, or this is where I end this particular video. And I'm here. Whatever happens, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Please don't forget to share. Share to create awareness that the Nigerian government has also adopted Sunday Ibuho, just like they did to Mazen Namdakano. And that is it uh, for you all for now. I'm going to leave you all to please share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye. Bye.